Hello, welcome. Today I'll be doing a short tutorial on Python data types, but our emphasis will be on set SAT. In subsequent videos, we will look at other data types in detail, but today we'll be looking at set in detail, at least to a large extent. So basically, uh, we'll be using an online tool. I've opened onlinegdb.com, so you could also go there and try to follow along with the lecture. So basically, the various data types in Python, some of which includes number one, string, string data type. So to assign a data type in Python, the variable equals, if it's string, colon, so Python has a method called type. So if I want the system to print or return the data type that has been assigned to this variable A, that's what I've written, print A is a type of, what is the type of A? So it tells us the variable there, shallow is of type class string. If it's numeric, 45, I run it. Integer, that's it, it is a type of number. I say point 89. Float, is also a type of number. If I decide to use Square. And I put in values. Then we are talking now about arrays. This is a list which is a type of array. If I go on to now change this, let's say I want it, I put a uh, curly bracelet, the prince tells us it is set. There's also one that is very commonly used, topple. It's also a data type. If I run it, tells us it's a class topple. But today we'll be focusing on set. So let's return it and see. Okay, so it's set. So basically why I want to focus on set is because it reminds me of my you know, mathematics days. It can actually be used. The set array object can actually be used like your normal set in mathematics. That's finding out intersection, finding out union, etc. within two or more sets. So let's start now. Let's assume I've declared A here and now I want to declare another set B. And let's say I use one, five, ten, can put as many. 18. Okay. So, nothing has really changed apart from the fact that I added B as a set. So, let's assume you want to, you are doing your mathematics and you want to find out the union of the two sets. This is the syntax A. Then Please take note. B. 
that is the syntax. If I want the system to print it, print A, that is print the union of A and B. Okay, so basically what is the union of A and B? It takes what is in A and what is in B. So we can see 1 here, 18 here, 4, 5, 10, 45. So that's an example of using Python to calculate or find union of sets. So let's assume we now want to find intersection of a set. Intersection of course is what is in what is common in the two sets. It will be A So that's it. A yeah. Ampersand. So we want it to print. So it tells us five. Five is what is common between sets A and B. Print A, print A intersection B. Let me remove this. Print A is of type so that the system will only be, console will only be printing just a single line for us to easily follow. So let's assume also we want to, let's say we want to add all elements that are in B. That's all elements here. We want to add it to the set A. So how do we go about it? All elements. So that will be A. Equals B. So what, we, what we've done now is. We've added. All elements. In B here into the array A. So we want the system to of course print it into the console for us to see. So we'll come back here and say print A. Remember A is 4, 5, 45, but now we've added all elements in B to A. And let's now run it. Okay, so it's printed all elements, has added all elements in B into A and then you know, retrieved all the values. So you now have 118 510 which is in um, B and of course 4545 a single 5 of course is what will be retrieved by the system another thing we can also do with uh, set calculation let's assume we want to we want to leave the sets we want to leave in the set A only items that belongs to set B. We want to live in the set A. Set A has 4, 5, 45. Only items that belong to B. That should be just uh, 5. So what we'll do is A intersection equals B. A intersection equals B. So let's run and see what it will give us. So that's 5. It's giving us 5 beneath here. 5 is the value in B that is also in A. So that's what we've done. We've left in the array A the common value between A and B. So that's another way we can use it. Now let me quickly talk about uh, what we we'll call the um, uh, asymmetric B, which is what you are doing is you are leaving elements belonging to either A or B, but not both. Any element that belongs to either A or B, but it does not belong to both. So that's what we mean by asymmetric B. So let's quickly look at that. Um, let's see. A, 
trying to look for them. asymmetric D. So elements that belong to either A or B. Asymmetric B. Nothing should change here. Four, five, four, five. Okay. So we now say we want the system to print asymmetric B. Asymmetric B. So what are those elements that belong to either A or B, but is not common to either of the two? Four is not common. But basically, 5 is the only thing common. So 5 is what will not appear. So you should see 1, 4, 45, 10, 18, which will be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. Okay, so this is just a brief uh, introduction on about what and what can be done using sets. There's still a lot I would have loved to talk about with regards to set, but because of... Uh, okay, let me briefly look at a few things also. How do you add a set? Or how do you add elements to a set? So the set name A dot add, let's assume I want to add to A uh, 16 so I've added 16 to A, and now I want the system to print A for me. So 16 has been added to 4545. Let us assume I want to remove A dot remove. Let's assume I want to remove 5 from A. So the system will remove 5 and then print what is in A. So 4 and 45 is what is in A. And let's assume I want to clear everything. I don't want anything to remain. So I want all the items in A to be removed. A dot clear. Of course. You won't put anything inside the parentheses because it's everything you want to be removed. So I run it. It tells me set is an empty set. So this is just a brief summary about data types but with emphasis on set. In subsequent videos, we'll talk about other data types uh, like uh, tuple. Or that other data types like um, list and all you can do with all these data types thank you very much